everyone, it's Emily and today I'm doing what has to be my most requested video ever and that would be how I edit my videos and you guys ask for this all the time so I thought I would just do a little run through, I'll do like a screen capture and just show you guys my process of editing my videos. So now let's just go and I will show you how I edit my videos. So for editing my videos I use Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 11. For this, you don't need to have the same editor as me, but I'll just be showing you how I do it through this editor. So I'm just going to open up a clip. So the first thing I like to do is import all of the clips into Sony Vegas that I want to use for my intro. And that's something a lot of YouTubers like to put about a 30 second intro in the beginning of their video. So I'll just pick a clip to put in. And then what I'll do now once I have this one clip is I will mute the audio because obviously I'll put music over this. And then I like to do some color correction to this entire track here. So for this, I'll click on this track effects thing. And I go to Sony Color Corrector Secondary. And usually what I like to do is just turn up the saturation a bit. And then a lot of times I turn up the brightness too. But not quite as much. I just put it up usually like 0.02. Or 0.03. So something I feel like makes the intro a bit fancier and cooler looking is to add some transitions. So I would say don't add a transition in between every single clip because that's a little bit excessive. But you know just where you feel like it looks nice. You can play around with it. I like I'll use this transition. And I'm just dragging it and dropping it between these two clips. So obviously you can go on and make your intro however long you want. Usually about 30 seconds is good. Then you can add some music to it. You can find music in a ton of different places off of iTunes. Or you can find some free music from the internet. But usually you can use up to 30 seconds of copyrighted music. And typically... I like to try to use two songs in the intro if it's like 30 seconds just to make sure I don't go over so we'll use honey I'm good so let's just say I want to use that much and then I'll add a second song so go with love me harder and another thing you might have noticed a lot of youtubers doing especially well not especially including me is putting an overlay, like saying what the video is about. So I've done that in a bunch of videos, including my how to pack for vacation video. So as you can see right here, I have this overlay pop up that says travel slash airplane essentials. So I'll just show you how I do that and then how I animate it. So I make the overlay by going to pickmonkey.com. And this website is completely free. You can't get the Royale version, but I'm good with just the free version and it works just fine for me. So I have to go to design and I just choose the square. I make the canvas transparent. That's super important. Otherwise you'll have a white box around your overlay. And then I go to overlays and I like to choose geometric and pick some short sort of shape that you want your overlay to be in. You can also go down here to labels and some of these look pretty cool. Actually, I think I'll go with this one because I really like how this looks. And I'll just choose a color. I really like a pretty light blue, so we'll go with that. Then I like to hit this button right here, which is combine all image elements. So that way you can move the text freely without accidentally hitting the overlay. So it just makes it like a part of the canvas, you know what I mean? So then I just go to text and I downloaded a bunch of fonts from dafont.com. I'll add text and I will use Bob's Burgers because I love that font. And I'll just type DIY. We'll say I'm doing a DIY. And then we'll use a different font. Obviously you can do this however you want. I mean I don't really need to 
But something which a lot of YouTubers like to do in their thumbnails and in fancier text is to do that kind of glowing text effect. So how you do that is go into effects and scroll down until you find the one that says draw on it. And I like to turn the hardness down to zero and choose any color. I'll just use white for this. And then I'll zoom in a little bit and just draw around the text. Normally I like to go a little bit slower with this, but I'll just show you pretty quickly. But also if you have a sort of, I guess, hollow font, like the DIY here, you can color this in with the draw effect. You actually might want to turn the hardness up if you're doing something like this where you're going to be drawing inside the lines. And this does take a while, I'm just warning you if you write something a little bit longer. And then, wow, this is looking great, <laughs> but I mean, I'm sure you're getting the idea. Then I like to go back to overlays and try and find some sort of overlay that relates to whatever this is. So there's so many options. You even could just add like a star. Then you can take your overlay and go back into Sony Vegas and put it in a different track. So this is from like a Christmas thing. So this is paper ornaments, but you know, still getting the picture here. So if you made it a square, obviously when you drag it around, it's gonna like go off the screen. So on Sony Vegas, you can go down here and choose widescreen TV aspect ratio, and then it fits perfectly. So to make it like fly into the screen, you can use these keyframes down here. So you want to start with it off the screen and then choose down here and click create keyframe and then scroll forward on this timeline until you get to a point where you want your overlay to be in the center of the screen and then drag it into the center. You can zoom it in a little, do whatever you want and then click create keyframe. So now when you look in here your overlay will fly in. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to put those black bars or white bars or actually they can look like anything around your video. So you want to click on this event pan crop thing. Then you want to uncheck the lock aspect ratio. You need to make sure that doesn't have a blue box around it. And then you can just slide down on here. And as you can see it makes the black bars. You can make them as big or as small as you want. And then if you want to make them a different color, you can see there's all these options here. So in the track below your video with the bars on it, you can put any picture, any color you want. So there are like blue bars. But you can make this completely customizable. You can download any picture from the internet. You even can put another video below. So if you want to do like this thing. I don't know if you would want to do that or not, but you can get super creative with it. But after the intro, I usually like to add a part where I'm talking and explaining what the video is going to be about. And then usually, ooh, <laughs> I cannot get a good face on the screen, but during the part where I'm talking, I usually like to add some sort of music in the background just to make it a little less awkward. I don't know. So there is a lot of music out there you have to buy, but there is also so much free music. So I like to search free ukulele music or no copyright ukulele music and just download it from online. So I'll find some that's already on my computer. I just slide it down to make the music quieter. Then after the talking section, I just edit the rest of the video and I like to do it in sections. So if I'm doing like three DIYs, I'll show some clips of the finished first DIY, then I'll show how to make it, then I'll show some clips of the finished second DIY and then show how to make it and just go on like that. And at the end of my videos, sometimes I forget to do this, but I often like to add an end slate. So if you've seen mine, it just looks like this. I made this on PicMonkey and this will just promote everyone to look at my Instagram and Twitter and subscribe and it'll also show my last video. And I just usually put the intro of it in there so I don't make my video too much longer. And then I just crop it. 
by zooming out. And then I move it over into the section I put. And you don't have to add a video in, you could always add your thumbnail. Yeah, so that is how I edit my videos. I really hope you enjoyed. Please give this a thumbs up if you did. If you have any additional questions about Sony Vegas or editing videos in general, you can leave them down below. And keep in mind that having a YouTube channel and making videos is a creative thing. So your videos don't have to be exactly the same as someone else's. You can make up your own ways of doing things. Like there's no wrong way to do it, if you know what I mean. I will see you in my next video. Bye!